was his name? Col uh, I, Kilborn, but I can't remember his first name now. But he, 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 I'll tell you just a little about it. He was one of those type of people that would get on something and never let it go. I mean, uh, if uh, uh, at that time, one of the real estate people, when they were working on Eugenia Place, uh, putting that in there, uh, they cut a tree. It was a, I think it was an avocado tree, but I'm not sure. And so he walked into his office and dropped his limb on his desk to say, why did you cut the tree down? And all of that, one of those type of guys. He got elected to office based on, because he was always involved. He wanted this and he wanted this and that. And he wasn't an easy guy to negotiate with. So they finally uh, got rid of him. They had him recalled. And, the re and he alienated enough people in town. But I do want to give him credit for something that he did and he stuck with. The bicycle paths is credit to him. He was the one that started. He heard that there was bicycle paths somewhere, and I don't remember, somewhere up north or whatever it was. And they came down with the idea, and that's why we have bicycle paths all over, is because of Kilbourne. And he was, I didn't see him after he was recalled. I used to know him fairly well and talk to him. Uh, and his wife was uh, as animated as she is, he was, and, and had a daughter that was even more animated. So it was an interesting uh, group. But they were totally dedicated, but he just didn't know how to deal with people. You just, you couldn't say no to him. You know. uh, apparently he was arrested for campaign violations, do you recall that? Was that yeah. A technicality, do you think? Yeah, I think it was a technicality. It just, uh, you know, something. I mean, the campaign violation was. I mean, he might have collected a couple extra bucks at that time. It was nothing, but I. It wasn't that much of an issue. And I think he also felt that it. Was, he didn't want to be on anymore. So, and, and, you know. He, Nobody would talk to him. None of the other council people would talk to him. He was, he was an interesting guy. I think well-directed, he would have been a heck of a council person. But, uh, but I have to give him credit for the bicycle paths. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to turn this off. Normal people, people want do doing the right things, and oh, that's all there is to it. Okay. I was probably the dumbest character of all, so this is, yeah. You weren't on the council, though, were you? Never made I ran uh, once for the council, didn't make it. And uh, the other, th I ran for the uh, fire board and made that. But other than that, no. Uh, do you know any history about the Plaza Theater? About the Plaza Theater? Well, not any more than anybody else does. The Plaza Theater, of course, was started back in the 20s or something like that. And I remember it was closed for a while. And then it was opened up. Boy, we had a big festival in town. And they opened up for movies because it was closed. When I first moved here, it was closed. There wasn't anything there. Then they opened it up for movies. The a Metropolitan Theater, I think, took over. And they started showing the movies. And so we all went to it, and it was great. And then I, I don't know if uh, it's... Oh, one of the problems that they were having is that in a small town like this, if you got to keep a movie seven days, and that was the things for Metropolitan Movies, it had to be seven days. Most of us saw everything in the first two or three days. Who went after that? And people usually didn't come from Santa Barbara to go to the movies here. So that, that was one of the big issues. And, that, and that's why Metropolitan quit and then uh, Mike Lazaro and that group took over, and it seems to be doing well. I like it. Yeah.
Well, anything else you'd like to say about the uh, last 50 years in honor of Carpentry's 50th anniversary? Well, no, I, uh, one, I'd like to uh, I make sure I want to wish them another 50. I would love to be here, but chances are I won't. Uh, the other thing is, is that I want to thank all the people in Carpinteria, especially all the leaders in Carpinteria, for making this such a wonderful place. Yeah. Everything they did wasn't, I, it wasn't that I agreed with, but the fact is that they made it a place where I could go there and stand up and say, what about this? And they would say, well, look into it, or they'll give me an answer, or they'll give me the, and do something about it. I don't know where, anywhere else I could do that. And this has been a wonderful town for me. Well, thanks so much, Nailu. Thank you, Larry. Thanks for your public service. I really appreciate this. Thank you.